And then we also have one of an Asian. And this is offenseful because it represents the whole sex appeal that they have. Alert! Call a YouTube alert! Got that funk? Start the video campaign. DPR, I want everybody on this one. Scientists working on cures for cancers, creating medicines. We need them called off of any research they may be currently doing. The biggest campaign in the world has finally hit the internet. I'm very proud to be a part of it. This time, the cause is serious. Joining me now to talk more about the campaign, Krissa Bush, Secretary of STARS, the student group. Why do you think this is so important? Um, a lot of students are unaware that dressing up or imposing as a different culture is very offensive. People are dressing up, representing other people's cultures. We've got white people wearing sombreros. I, I've seen it fucking happen. You're probably sitting there in your chair right now like, oh gee, this shit doesn't really happen. A white person doesn't really put a sombrero on. It doesn't really go down like that. A black man doesn't really put on a karate gi because that's offensive. I mean, sure, I, I've seen I've seen pride fighting MMA in Japan, and for some goddamn reason, they're so backwards, they still let the black people wear geese. I can't even find... Oh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere you go. <laughs> really? Really? That's what the fucking... These people got onto the news because they are started a campaign in which they have decided that it's offensive to dress up in another culture. I think these poor young ladies are confusing bad taste with racism and offensiveness and uh, uh, bigotry. Because, guess what man, I can almost guarantee you that these, probably every single one of these ladies, this multicultural fucking little representation that they've put together, probably none of them have lived outside of the United States. Maybe they've gone on some kind of weird trip to Mexico or something like that. Other things happen in other places and not everyone is exactly the same as us. They don't all eat french fries all the time and hot dogs and watch football and Ford Tough. I grew up in Oahu, in Hawaii, in the poorest part of Hawaii, the butt crack of Oahu. I went to a school where I was the only white person. I went to school, I was a white person in a place where white people tricked the native peoples of the land and killed their fucking monarchs and their fucking royalty and put their heads on stakes and then took their land from them forcibly. Came with open hands. Let's be friends! Look, Jesus! You're gonna like this, it's Jesus! You can stop being a heathenist mongoloid! You, you can stop worshipping bananas! Look, here's Jesus! Everything will be better! And then here I am, I'm the, the only white person in an entire school where they've all been grown up and taught that the white devil took your shit, and he really did. Guess what? They didn't dress up like me. <laughs> That's not how they went about hating me for being white. They didn't dress up like me. Not once did one of them fucking put on a cowboy hat and a fucking pair of boots and some wranglers and be like, this will be this motherfucker steal all <laughs> I'm gonna dress up like a cowboy and get his ass burned. It just didn't fucking happen. You know what they did? They punched me in my face and told me that fucking God didn't cook me properly. That's the reason I was so white and that white people are the worst scum of the earth and eventually I was gonna get killed. They're gonna hit me in the head with a rock and fucking kill me because I deserve it for being white. They did things like that. And you know what? I wish to fuck they would have dressed up in Wranglers and put on some spurs and wore some boots and cowboy hats and then walked around looking like me because honestly, I wouldn't have given a shit. <laughs> Would've been a lot better than getting physically beaten. Totally different experience I can tell y'all about living in Japan. In Japan, at least when I live there, there's a large part of the culture there that is infatuated with Western culture. Yeah, that's right, man. They fucking do their hair up like Elvis and dress exactly like Greece and actually run down the streets like singing the songs in English even though they fucking don't know English. I would love to speak to this woman who's starting this campaign. Do you think that's offensive? Because she keeps saying this bullshit where, well, people don't even realize that they're being offensive, and but they are. Well, I, I would love to know. Do you think that the Japanese, the part of that culture that is infatuated with like Greece and fucking Elvis and, and, and solid old records fucking, is that offensive? 
or does it have to be here in America? When it, dude, half of these people, if you see a guy dressed in fucking some Asian looking uh, uh, attire for, uh, uh, for Halloween, chances are most likely he's infatuated with Asian movies and likes kung fu. If it's fucking got a whole collection of kung fu movies on the fucking wall, and that's what he likes to do, then why the fuck are you gonna tell him he can't dress up like a goddamn ninja for Halloween? Or a fucking kung fu master? We're all sitting with our Halloween costumes on and we got our candy. Let's watch CNN! That's a good thing to do on Halloween, right? We turn on and we flip on, oh look at these ladies, they've started a car, I wonder what it is. And I've got my ninja suit on and this guy over here's got a sombrero and he's not Mexican. This guy over here is fucking, he's dancing around. Let's hear what she's got to say. Um, a lot of students are unaware that dressing up or imposing as a different culture is very offensive. You're talking about us. You're going after my gi, my kung fu outfit, motherfucker. And nobody does that shit. Not on my watch. No, sir, not in America. French fries. What does this woman have to say when somebody approaches her and they're like, you know, Clearly, you're being far too sensitive. There's other real problems in the world that maybe we could do campaigns about. I don't know. But children starving in these countries, other, some of these other cultures you don't want anybody dressing up like. How much have you done for them, hmm? He fucking starves and dies of hunger while you run around feeling good about yourself because you stopped someone from wearing a sombrero. It's the stupidest fucking campaign I've ever heard in my whole fucking life. It's way too... It's a little hypersensitive. But what does this, what does this bitch have to say to people when they're like, you're being a hypersensitive bitch and you need to settle down? People, most of the people who do think we're being too sensitive are people that probably haven't been discriminated against and haven't felt the hate. Okay. People who are saying you're being a little too hypersensitive have actually never been on the, the receiving end of this bigotry and racial hatred. This is what I can pretty much promise you, Miss Thing. You have probably never experienced racial bigotry or hatred. You probably have rarely, if ever, even seen it go down in real life. You've never seen someone get the shit beat out of them because of the color of their skin, have you? You've never had the shit beat out of you because of the color of your skin, have you? You don't know anything about fucking actual bigotry and hatred. Because I promise to fucking God they do not dress up like you and then walk around. And fucking, and, and that's how they fucking, they, they let you know, you know? It doesn't happen. <laughs> it's not the thing that people who are actually being oppressed and, and, and fucking treated a certain way because of the color of skin, that's not the part they worry about. You know who worries about that? People like you who live in their little suburbs who grew up with fucking all kinds of money and mommy and daddy taking care of this and buying your Cadillac and your Corvette for fucking your birthday. Okay, you sit around and think up like, I think it's really offensive when people buy outfits that are like other cultures like you know when it's another culture people sometimes dress like asians what about my scottish kilt what if can a black person wear that for halloween and not be offensive you think about that one i don't know what about like a fucking like a holland like a clog dancer in front of a windmill or some shit is that a racist thought i just had it may be a racist thought i might be a racist piece of shit because i just thought of that now if i actually put my clogs on i'm sure that's where it crosses the line anybody can be a piece of shit that is a fucking fact that i know for good and fucking well it's you have to judge people based on who they are and what they do and you know values and peas and hulk hogan if you're a normal person who likes fucking kung fu movies and you want to fucking put a karate kick thing on your fucking head and go run around and eat candy and celebrate halloween hoorah i'm in corner these fucking bitches have no idea what racial discrimination is really all about that made this little video this little campaign i just i saw the shit i had to say something i had to put my headband on and fucking get in front of the camera and say something about it. That's what's going on. That's what this is. I'm OG Jimbo. Thank you for watching my video and loving my headband. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy Halloween. Peace. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going. I Got my Bruce Lee on. I don't know fucking Bruce Lee for Halloween. See, my bedroom is Bruce Lee everything. Because I'm fucking Bruce Lee's the man. Worship this motherfucker. Worship him. Yeah. This is offenseful.